Before Shailene Woodley was in movies like the Divergent series, she was the star of the ABC family show, The Secret Life of the American Teenager. And now many years later, she's opening up about how challenging it was for her to work on that show. Hey everyone, it's Susan Morad here with Clever News, bringing you all the latest entertainment updates that you need to know. And Shailene Woodley just got candid about her physical and mental health during her early days as an actress. It might be hard to believe now because of all her success in movies like Divergent and shows like Big Little Lies, but Shailene Woodley broke onto the scene starring as Amy on The Secret Life of the American Teenager. And while the show went on for five seasons, things behind the scenes weren't as good as it may have looked from the outside. Shailene just opened up about her experience working on the show and explained how it was one of the most difficult things she's had to do. We'll get into everything she said, but first go ahead and subscribe to Clever News if you haven't already, so you never miss any breaking news updates. Okay, so Shailene just opened up to bustle in an extremely personal interview. She explained that when she read the first few scripts of The Secret Life of the American Teenager, she really related to the material and was excited about it. But since Shailene was only about 16 years old when that show started, she didn't realize everything she was getting herself into. She explained that, quote, When I signed on to Secret Life, I read three episodes and I signed a contract for six years. Those episodes all hit home. I had friends in high school who were pregnant. I felt like everything that I wanted to be sending into the world. World. But as the years went on, Shailene realized a lot of the plot lines were not in line with her personal beliefs. Shailene explained that, quote, There were a lot of things that were written into the scripts that, just not me, but a lot of the cast, disagreed with. There were belief systems that were pushed that were different than my own. Yet, legally, I was stuck there. And if you watch the show, you might know what Shailene is talking about. As the series progressed, it leaned more and more into promoting abstinence. Characters wore promise rings, vowed to save themselves until marriage, and even shamed others who didn't. The show became less progressive and more cautionary about pregnancy. Shailene even went as far as saying that, quote, to this day, it's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. So being on Secret Life propelled me to be more vocal about my own belief systems. I'm curious to know what you think about Shailene's revelations. Would you struggle to play a role that was not in line with your own beliefs? Or do you think you could separate the two very easily? Let me know down in the comment section below and let's get that conversation started. And we all know that Shailene went on to portray a handful of other young women on screen in movies like The Spectacular Now, The Fault in Our Stars and Divergent. She said that it was somewhat of a cathartic experience for her to play all these coming of age roles. She said, quote, I lost my virginity like seven times on screen. I lost my own virginity in a really unromantic, unsexy way. So it's very therapeutic for me that by playing these characters, I was showing young women what they can wait for. But while she had some great times working on all these movies, Shailene was actually really struggling with her health. In a recent interview with the New York Times, Shailene revealed that she was really sick in her early 20s, which forced her to make her health a priority over her career. She said, quote, I haven't spoken much about this yet publicly, and I will one day, but I was very, very sick in my early 20s. While I was doing the Divergent movies and working hard, I also was struggling with a deeply personal, very scary physical situation. Shailene went on to explain that, quote, because of that, I said no to a lot of opportunities because I needed to get better. And those jobs jobs ended up going to peers of mine who I love. They went on to a lot of success. And while she continued to work through her health struggles, she worried about whether she would ever be in a place again where her health wouldn't affect how much she was able to work. She opened up and said that she would find herself thinking, quote, am I going to survive what I'm going through right now and ever be healthy or even have the opportunity to work on projects I'm passionate about again because of the situation I'm in? I was in a place where I had no choice but to just surrender and let go of my career. And it brought out this negative voice in my mind that kept spinning for years and years afterward. While Shailene didn't specify exactly what health conditions she was struggling with, she did reveal that thankfully those days are behind her. She said, quote, now I'm on the other side of it, thank God. A lot of the last few years has been about focusing on mental health for me and it's a slow process. But because of that work, I feel very grounded and rooted in who I am and very clear about everything in my life, whether it's my career or my relationships or my own internal worth. I feel very grateful to have walk that line of fire because now I know what I don't want to ever go back to. And we're just so glad Shailene is taking care of both her physical and mental health and it sounds like she's in a much better place these days. And if you want more on Shailene Woodley, click right over here for nine things you might not know about her. I'm your host Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye guys.